Hello Scorpio, I hope you're all well. In today's reading we'll be looking at whoever's on your mind for the rest of the year. Scorpio here twice, Aries here twice, Cancer and Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius are the strong signs. Doesn't have to be. It is energy we're looking at. In regards to this person's headspace, we have Seven of Cups clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Mm. So in regards to you, there's a lot of contemplation um, going on. Uh, I don't think, you know, Seven of Cups can be exploring one's options, but I'm not getting that. And if this person does have other options, they saw you stood out to this person. Um, they saw some sort of a value in you. Um, so yes, there I see respect here, but also a lot of confusion. So perhaps they're taking a step back. I'm getting, for some of you, this won't be for everyone. There's a tad bit of resentment here, um, especially if they feel you know, that they put in a lot of effort in regards to the situation, but didn't get as much, you know, in return. Um, that's for some of you. And obviously this is their side of the story. Um, we'll get to yours as well, because when it, this was a bit of a confusing read, so I did want it, I wanted to pull cards for your energy as well, just to see where you're at in regards to this person. But yeah, Seven of Pentacles, a lot of waiting, um, curiosity here, wanting to know more about you, don't really have the answers. There's a lot of uh, questions this person has in regards to you with whatever happened between both of you. I'm not sure they're actively trying to, you know, search for those answers, but it is on their mind quite a bit with that Four of Swords. Yeah, um, their intentions. We have two of pentacles and the emperor. They're holding back. I'm getting they have a lot of responsibilities with that two of pentacles. I, it can be juggling, but with the emperor, I'm getting more so external forces here. Um, just someone who's busy, perhaps with career, money, matters, that sort of thing. But really, could be that this person has a bit of a... You know, strong ego because we did have king of wands paired with the hierophant so i am getting a bit of a rigid energy coming from them um you know not wanting to compromise not wanting to my way or the highway with that emperor um for your energy we do have ten of cups two of cups queen of swords knight of wands two of wands three of swords for some of you you cut this person off because they Either we're playing the field, um, they put you in a third party, they broke your heart, whatever it was, there was hurt, caused you some sort of pain, and um, I'm not sure you've let go of that because it's right uh, below the Queen of Swords. So there is... Your tolerance level has decreased, <laughs> is the best way to put it. Um, I'm not sure you'd tolerate any wishy-washy behavior if this person was a bit confused in the past. Um, for some of you, I'm also getting with that Ten of Cups, you're looking for your happiness elsewhere. Um, you're at a crossroads and, you know, you're exploring your other options or this is what this person was doing in the past. But whatever it is, you have your sword up here with the Queen of Swords and you're really studying this situation from a, a logical stance, putting your emotions aside. And thinking in more practical terms is your energy. How this person presents themselves to you, we have High Priestess, Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. Will they present themselves as, well, one, if they put you in a third party as someone who's quite secretive um, with the, um, their involvement with other people, especially if they're committed with that King of Wands harf and you see them sneaking around. Um, very withdrawn energy. This could have been a, an affair, a passionate connection, I'm not sure. But you see them as a bit scattered with the Eight of Wands, perhaps, you know, all over the place. As 
what I'm sort of getting from here, but very secretive, who this person truly is. So how this person is presenting themselves to you and who they truly are is similar um, for the most part. But we do have 8th house, intimacy, Mars, ace of wands, moon, eight of swords, very much driven by their passions. This is someone who really jumps into intimate connections without thinking. So they act before they think with that ace of wands. If something catches their eye, um, they, they really charge forward. Um, but the issue here is... They don't think when it comes to their passions, but in the end, they it's almost karma in a way or some unresolved issues. There's a pattern that is playing out here because, yeah, they may go from one person to the other, or if this is a player I'm getting strongly, they're never satisfied in the end with that moon, eight of swords. Um, a side message I was getting, this person's a bit of a detective. I'm always studying others, wanting to know other people's secrets. So that is... Um, the type of vibe I'm getting from them. But, yeah, see, with the Eight of Swords moon, this is lack of clarity, a lot of confusion. I think they really put themselves in to tricky situations because they let their passions drive them. It's a bit of an issue for them. And again, with that moon and Eighth House, they may, you know, attract... This person comes across as someone who's a bit of a, you know, alpha male in a way, very masculine energy, and they may attract others with a similar vibe to themselves, um, someone who has power, and then they, as a result, may have to deal with power struggles, um, a lot of jealousy, possessiveness, you know, um, there's some connections that bring out their insecurities. I guess there's a possibility here. This person may also deal with unresolved anger or anxieties because Mars 8th house can talk about that as well. Very mysterious yet powerful energy coming from your person, Scorpio. How they feel about you? We have Chariot, Ace of Swords, Page of Cups. So you know, Page of Cups is a flirty back and forth communication, but it's always a small offer of love. Um, This person does have a place for you in their heart, but they have emotion for you. I'm seeing they're looking back at you, but also moving forward at the same time. So a bit stuck in the past in regards to you and what happened, but also moving forward at the same time, if that makes sense. It's almost as if they're moving on with their life, um, but they're what's holding them back is what I was telling you earlier is a lack of clarity. There's some questions they have and until they get the answers to that, they're not able to fully move on. So I'm getting there's some sort of distance here between you both or very little communication for some of you. Hmm. For what action they'll take, we have Tower, Nine of Wands, King of Wands, Hierophant. This person's exhausted. Um, they feel tired. They feel, you know, they put in a lot of work to well, what they thought was building a stable foundation. But, you know, this is a breakup. It wasn't stable to begin with. And it's a bit of a reality check for them because what they thought that would last, you know, it would endure um, it hasn't, because I'm getting that with that Queen of Swords, you may have cut them off, and that's a bit shocking for them in a way. Um, this could have happened in the recent past, or, you know, distant past, I'm not sure, but it still left an impact on this person, and they're still feeling, you know, the after effects of that, this tower crashing down, but they still do have a lot of passion for you. For a lot of you, we did have come hither with that King of Wands. This is someone who perhaps you're looking for a commitment with commitment and letting go. And if this person won't give it to you, you're looking elsewhere. Elsewhere, At least that is their perception on this situation that you may be building with someone else. This, they're quite possessive. 
um, this person, who they are as a person, is someone who's prone to jealousy, possessiveness, control issues, power struggles. They constantly attract um, that towards them. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, patterns and internal fears, anxieties that they're um, refusing to work on. Because a lot of the cards here that I'm seeing and I'm picking up intuitively, this person's really focused on other external things for instance what you did um what other people are doing outside of them rather than going within and really reflecting on you know what role they played or how they can do things differently i'm seeing a perhaps not the most self-aware person for some of you some of you they could already be committed but for others of you i'm just getting with the harf and someone who's unwilling to compromise, a bit rigid here. Could be different cultures for some of you, but um let's see. For let's look at your uh let's look at your messages first. We have I'm going to leave you hanging. I only care about my needs. So that's a bit of their selfishness coming through. Dating you you know, I'm, I only care about my needs, come hither, it's more of a intimate card here, may, this person may only reach out to you when they want something, you know, physical, and that, and that is why you drew that line, because you're looking for something more stable long term, and then we have dating you, it's like being in a maze, I'm trying to find clever ways to win you over, um, yeah, so there, and then we have, I'm going to conquer you, I don't care who you're dating, you are mine, again, that possessive control issues I was telling you about, not wanting to let you go, and with that nine of wands, also, you know, dating you is like being in a maze, again, in their headspace, we had a lot of confusion, um, so this person could, I'm getting a bit of a detective, they could be watching you, asking people about you, God knows what they're doing, but they have questions and they're looking for the answers somewhere. I'm behaving strangely because I'm hiding something from you. I don't want you to find out. Again, in their energy, we had high priestess, moon. You know, it could be a little third party, another commitment they're in. Or, you know, they may be entertaining more than just you is what they're hiding. I'm getting strong, you know, three of cups, high priestess, moon, three of swords, a lot of third party energy. For your advice, this is a uh, very important if this reading was resonating because it did fly out twice. But your advice from your guides is keep going. Don't stop now as success is just around the corner. You will soon start to see the results of your commitment and consistent hard work. There may be a project you're working on, um, your career, something that you've been focused on lately. And your guides are encouraging you to keep going, keep working hard. And that, you know, your hard work will pay off in the end. And for a lot of you, I did have at the bottom of the deck. Um, something to celebrate, increase in finances, and young woman. So for men out there, there could be this young woman entering your life, um, perhaps through your career, your finances, but um, for the woman looking for men, it could be um, for women looking for men. I meant for the others of you, um, you could be celebrating some success with your finances here and that is what your guides are telling you you know keep going and then we have number 34 a voyage you already have all the answers yeah 34 number seven highly spiritual card i'll read this to you uh you've been feeling lost for a while now wandering through your life aimlessly searching everywhere for meaning and never coming up with anything of substance that's the problem you keep searching for answers outside yourself when all the answers can be found within if you take the time to look you need a spiritual mentor and at this point in your life that person needs to be you so you know what, <laughs> you already have the answers, you don't need this reading. Um, this reading is only confirming what you already know. So that is what it's saying. Perhaps it's a time to stop watching these readings and um, 
rely on your intuition to guide you. I mean, it's not bad watching readings, especially if you feel inspired and, you know, it, if readings are uplifting. But sometimes when you're moving on from a person, watching readings about them can be a bit, it can hold you back. Especially, I see for some of you, you're healing from this with that Three of Swords. So there's a need to really listen to the inner voice and not watch readings. That's just a side message for some of you. But if you, you know, if you get inspiration from these readings and they help you in some way, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as it's within limits, right? I have that issue too because I'm a bit of an extremist. <laughs> so if I do something, I, I, you know, I'm obsessed. I find it hard to find that middle ground. But so I understand it's hard, but it's necessary for your growth and for you to move forward sometimes, Scorpio. But that is what I have for you. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Take care of yourself and I will see you later. Bye.